All right, this week in Drone News, we have three stories for you. The recreational Lance is finally enabled for night flights. That's a big deal. Uh, Freefly is grounding a bunch of their aircraft and then Sprite gets nationwide BV loss. Let's get to it. All right, your first story this week is a good news, is uh, especially if you're a recreational flyer, uh, you can now fly at night in controlled airspace. And yes, some of you might be looking at me and be like, oh, I didn't know I couldn't do that. Well, you actually couldn't go in the system and request Lance request at night, now you can. Uh, the FAA announced this week that uh, Lance now supports near real-time authorization for recreational pilots uh, recreational flyers, I should say, in controlled airspace. Uh, recreational flyers must still follow all the guidelines of CBOs when it comes to night flying. So make sure you have your air aircraft uh, equipped with the right lights if that's what your CBO uh, is uh, asking for. A drone zone approval is also available for recreational flyers that uh, may be flying at an airport that is uh, not LANS approved. Uh, any LANS provider that can provide authorization for recreational flying can now give that uh, nighttime approval as well. Now, if you want more information on uh, how to choose a CBO, make sure that you head out to this video right here uh, because we, uh, well, we compared all of them. All right, your second story this week is Free Flight System, uh, which has recommended that all the owners of their Astro aircraft ground the aircraft due to an in-flight software failure. Uh, the in-flight software failure has resulted in at least one crash of an Astro, and Free Flight says that they just want to make sure that everything is good, but uh, the uh, system should have handled the error by itself automatically, uh, but the flight control software didn't actually work as intended. So uh, we'll keep you posted if we hear any updates on this, but uh, that's kind of a sad news, unfortunately. All right, your third story this week is Sprite. Uh, Sprite has received, not the Sprite that you drink, the uh, Sprite company that uh, makes aircraft that fly BV loss and uh, do drone deliveries. Uh, they have received BV loss uh, waiver for infrastructure inspections. Now, the cool thing about this is that this is a non-geolocation specific um, waiver, which means that Sprite can travel up to four miles to conduct the utility inspection. Uh, their president, Joe Resnick, said that uh, in this case, they're proud to have earned FAA's first uh, non-geospecific BV loss waiver for utility inspection, and then they believe that uh, it is a testament to the aviation-minded culture that puts safety at the center of everything that they do. That's really cool. All right, and then lastly, I have uh, one more. Make sure that you check out the latest video that we did. It's a review video uh, where we test a bunch of ND filters. Uh, we test for color and density accuracy, and you would actually be pretty surprised uh, about the results. Uh, we put that on the testing bench, uh, did a pretty thorough uh, testing, and I think it's pretty cool. All right, that's all I have. As always, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week.